You know, I'm starting to think a big turning point in our culture when things went to crap was when video games started putting easy mode in their, uh, I guess, gameplay options. Early on, you used to have to just work for everything. I remember playing Ghosts and Goblins as a kid on NES. And that game, like, you couldn't get past the first... I mean, like, if you got past the first level, you were just rocking. And it got progressively harder from there. And, uh, you know, there's lessons to be learned by that. You know, the, the actual accomplishments uh, that you feel uh, from, from hard work and doing something difficult is, uh, is a good thing. But, unfortunately, life is now going to be on easy mode for everybody. And this is the topic of today's video, where YouTube has removed... The ability for users to see the dislike button on the channel. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this video out very much. YouTube doesn't really like the discussion of their uh, internal policies very much, but we'll see how this goes. All right. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best selling author, an award winning comic creator, and I have my Cosmic Warrior on Indiegogo right now. I just got the proof copy here. Um, I'm going to have about 10 extra copies of this book. So I would love to get this great science fiction into your hands. Check it out on Indiegogo. Support the channel. I've got that link in the description below. All right, here we are. An update to dislikes on YouTube. Dislikes are still going to remain, of course, so people can see uh, from the content creator side. But uh, they're trying to stop people from flooding with dislikes. And let's be honest, there's a political reason for doing this. If you look at the White House's videos over the last year or so, they get hit with dislikes real hard. Uh, and people see that there is not uh, a popular president right now. And the government doesn't like that. Since YouTube and the government go hand in hand, YouTube is actually pushing this for a political agenda to try to hide the fact that there's an unpopular president. Uh, they had a narrative that this was the highest voted president of all time, which you know we know is not exactly probably the case. I'll leave it at that. But... Uh, they can't let people show their dislikes at this point. Now, you can click the button, but you won't feel like you're part of a crowd anymore. You won't know uh, exactly what the sentiments are anymore. And this is something that came from Netflix. And what happens, again, it's just when something that they don't like is happening on their channel and they see that their, their audience, their customers don't like something, uh, they try to just hide what the customers think. And that way they can produce whatever they want against the customer's wishes, against the viewer's wishes, and uh, there's going to be no change in that level. Gosh, people probably forgot about this. You never remember anything on the internet several years ago. But this is from 2018. Netflix removed all user reviews from its website uh, because, oh, declining use. People weren't using it that much. Sure. What happened at the time was Amy Schumer came out with a comedy special, and everybody hated it because Amy Schumer's not funny. Amy Schumer is annoying. Nobody wanted that content, and she went nutty feminist political with it, as you would have expected. Well, uh, that got downvoted and got very, very bad user reviews, and so Netflix pulled their review system. Again, it's too obvious what's happening uh, with the political climate right now and how they want to hide things and how they want to manipulate the narratives so that you think different things or that you think you can't stand up against tyranny. And... Uh, they just keep pushing more and more tyranny. I hope that uh, this doesn't get taken down or hidden or anything like that because it's pretty obvious analysis in my opinion, but I think that people do also need to hear it. It's really sad, and it is an easy mode for life. It's an easy mode for content creators. I'm kind of the opposite. You know, when I see good Amazon reviews or bad Amazon reviews, if they're well written and detailed and somebody actually has some criticism that's useful, I try to incorporate that into uh, what I want to do and how I want to uh, change my book so that I can satisfy my customers better. Same thing on here. I try to look at what people like content-wise and don't like content-wise, and I try to try to hone things towards you because you are the most important at the end of the day. You're the viewer. You're the person who enables me to have a business with this, to have a relationship with you, and uh, I like that. So, you know, discouraging you from... I guess, having your real thoughts on display, it's not helpful to me as a creator, I don't think. But uh, at least it protects uh, Brandon from being bullied. All right, what do you think about this? Do you think that? Do you think this is all because of the White House like I do? I think it is. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know why you think this is happening. 
And, uh, and don't hit the dislike button. Hit the like button. Thank you.